PPC Building Dreams, building it right, right from the start. In today's episode, we are at the Gaboroni City Council. Council approval is necessary for any new building and any alteration that adds on to or changes the structure of an existing building. All housing projects must be approved by the relevant authority or city council. Even projects where alterations of additions to the drainage system are required need to be authorized by the relevant body. To assure compliance with the legislation and regulations of local authorities and building bylaws of a particular city, the technical drawings have to be prepared for submission to the local authority or relevant building council. Mr. Nancilu, at which stage or phase do we involve the council in the building process? And who's responsible for submitting these plans to the council? Once the drawings have been completed and uh, approved by the client, the consulting team uh, would then have to detail it uh, and then submit it to council for approval so that they can get uh, uh, building permission. Uh, it is important to, to, to know that submission to council can only be made by qualified registered personnel, uh, whether it's an architect, an engineer, or an architectural technologist or others, as would have been registered with the Architects Registration Council. Ah, we've been talking about drawings that need to be submitted to Council. Please explain the elements that a client or a developer needs to be aware of in these drawings. There is a whole lot of uh, important things that need to be included in these, uh, in these drawings, uh, but, I, but I'll choose to pick two that I think are most prevalent or maybe relevant to, to, to a lot of people. The first one would be, uh, most people ask, why can't you just build right against your wall? Uh, and there's actually a very good reason for this. The reason is fire. As you can imagine, if you have your building right against your wall and the other guy builds right against the wall, it means your buildings are going to be uh, abutted to each other. And if one, your neighbors or yours catches fire, it automatically then would make the other building catch fire. And what would be the other one? The other one would be the issue of the boundary wall. Again, I'm saying this because it's one of these common ones. Uh, people ask why, why uh, do you have, why are you not allowed to build uh, a solid wall? And the reason again is issue of safety. You can imagine if, if, if you build a solid wall and somebody jumps in and there's nobody who can see from the outside. That, 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 as opposed to if there was actually certain element of openings, which by the way uh, can, be, can be designed to look good, not just the, the, the normal punches on the wall. Uh, that will increase your safety. The house or structure cannot be built adjoining to the boundary walls unless permission is given by the relevant council. This is to ensure access to maintain existing or future services in the servitude. Fire is another potential hazard. However, this can be dealt with by building a firewall detailed by a professional. Safety and security are often another consideration. It's advisable to construct the wall facing the street, not as a solid wall to ensure that intruders have nowhere to hide. Tell us, which projects must be approved by council? And what kind of action is taken when the documents are not submitted to local authorities? All new housing projects or even alterations uh, needs to first be approved by the relevant uh, authorities. And in this case, the Havron City Council. Uh, it is important to actually know that if you start any works whatsoever without approval from these authorities, you're actually taking a huge risk because the, the authorities, the building inspectors, have all right to come to site and in the interest of the, 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 the general uh, public, ask you to take these works down at your own cost uh, or just stop them. Building regulations, the approval of building plans, and the inspection of building sites by municipal building inspectors ensure that buildings meet the minimum standards of safety and health in their design and construction. Through your journey of getting your project off the ground, remember the glue that keeps all things building together, a quality cement. Don't settle for an ah cement. Ask for the tried and tested one. The one as strong as an elephant. Ask for PPC cement.